Perhaps one of the most important, historic, and watched vice presidential debates in recent history. Greg Argos joins us live from Spring Garden. Greg, tonight took a very different tone than the first presidential <laughs> debate. Yeah. That's exactly right there, Jessica. This was much more calmer than the presidential debate. It was much more informative. And experts say it may be one of the most important vice presidential de debates in our nation's history. The conventional wisdom is these undercard debates typically don't matter. People don't pay attention to them. But if 2020 has taught us anything, this year and this election is anything but typical. We're in the midst of a pandemic and an economic dislocation that, that's severe. And David Thornburg, the president and CEO of the nonprofit, nonpartisan political advocacy group, Committee of 70, says the uncertainty about the health of both Trump and Biden are reasons why all eyes are on this debate. Either one of these folks uh, that debate tonight could very well be president in the next four years. Because we have a, a two of the oldest candidates uh, running for president in the history of the country. The one and only vice presidential debate comes less than a week after President Trump announced he had contracted COVID 19. From the very first day, President Donald Trump has put the health of America first. Before there were more than five cases in the United States, all people who had returned from China, President Donald Trump did what no other American president had ever done. And that was he suspended all travel from China, the second largest economy in the world. Whatever the vice president is claiming the administration has done, clearly it hasn't worked. When you're looking at over 210,000 dead bodies in our country, American lives that have been lost, families that are grieving that loss. The economy and civil unrest also discussed. But we don't have to choose between supporting law enforcement Proving public safety and supporting our African American Thank neighbors you, and President. all of our minorities. Under President Trump's leadership, you, we will always stand with law enforcement and we'll do what we've done Vice since President day one Pence. and Thank you. Your time is improve the up. lives of African Americans. We are talking about an election in 27 days where last week the President of the United States took a debate stage in front of 70 million Americans and refused to condemn white supremacists. Not true. And Not true. It wasn't like he didn't have a chance. He didn't do it, and then he doubled down. And Thornburg says this back and forth will be the focus for voters for the days to come. Some folks are saying that because of the president's illness and potential ramifications, this could be the last debate period of the presidential election season. So all the more significance and consequence, of course, we don't know. You know, we've got, uh, I guess, 28 days or 27 days left, and Lord knows what can happen between now and then. Yesterday, Biden saying there should actually not be a second presidential debate if President Trump is still infected with the coronavirus, but that second presidential debate is still scheduled for next Thursday in Miami. I'm live here in the Spring Garden section of Philadelphia. Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Greg, thank you.